please, no more. I can't do this anymore. I'll tell you what, we'll make just one more. One more video demonstration? And then that's it. I promise you, as soon as we finish this one, you're free to go. Okay. Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today we'll be showing you what astronomers mean when they say that the universe is expanding. To help me, as always, is my assistant, Stephen. Our universe is not static. It's continually expanding. We know this because when we look at galaxies, we see that they are all moving away from us. The closer galaxies are moving at a slower rate than the farther galaxies. This relationship between the distance of a galaxy and how fast it appears to be moving away from us is known as Hubble's Law. It's difficult to imagine a three-dimensional universe expanding. Expanding into what? Exactly. However, we can use a two-dimensional model to explain Hubble's Law. To do so, Stephen will now blow up this balloon. The surface of the balloon is a two-dimensional model representing our three-dimensional universe. The pieces of paper on the balloon represent galaxies, the red one representing the Milky Way. You'll notice that as the balloon expands, galaxies closer to the Milky Way move away at a slower rate than galaxies farther away. This is precisely what we see in our own three-dimensional universe. As the universe expands, it drags the galaxies along with it. While galaxies move due to the gravitational influences of nearby neighbors, their overall motion away from us is due to the expansion of the universe. How's the balloon coming, Stephen? I, uh, I think it's big enough. I think you can blow it up a little bit bigger. Well, it can't get much larger. I'm one, two, one. Okay, okay. As the balloon gets bigger and bigger, you'll notice that the pieces of paper don't. As our universe expands, the galaxies within it do not. On small scales, gravity is strong enough to hold objects together. But on larger scales, expansion takes over, causing everything to move apart from each other. In fact, astronomers now know that dark energy is causing our universe to expand at an accelerating rate. If everything appears to be moving away from us, does that mean that we're at the center of our universe? Actually, no. If you were to look at galaxies in a universe from any other galaxy, you would see the same thing. Hubble's law holds true everywhere in our universe. If we're not at the center of our universe, where is it? You can answer this question one of two ways. Either nowhere is the center of our universe, or everywhere is the center of our universe. The universe did not start at a point in space, it created space. Every place in our universe began at the same location at the beginning of the universe. You can't point to a location in our universe and say, it all started here. If our universe didn't begin at a particular point in space, where did it begin? And what is it expanding into? This is a fascinating question, one that we don't have the answers to. It's impossible for us to travel outside of our universe, or to even observe outside of our universe. So we don't know, but we do have some theories. According to string theory, we live in an 11-dimensional universe. Okay. Steven? Steven? Or everywhere is at the center. Or everywhere is at the center. Or everywhere is at the center. Where is at the center? Say it all started here. Yay! <laughs> ah! All right. One more bit. It all started here, yo.